You know, as we continue to count down to the total solar eclipse here in South Central Texas, rural communities say that they're running on overdrive in order to prepare. The night team's Avery Everett traveled to Bandera County, where leaders have spent the last three years preparing for the eclipse. This ambulance is loaded. Check pads. Even though it's fully stocked and staffed, it's still not enough. Overwhelming for rural EMS. With the total eclipse set to cross over South Central Texas next week, Bandera County leaders say they're worried. We just don't have anywhere near the staff to handle as many people as we're going to get, but we'll do it. In a rural community like Vanderpool, volunteer departments are on their own. So eight people, three ambulances, mm -hmm. and one helicopter. And one helicopter. And... 10,000 people plus. County leaders say only about 100 people actually live in the town of Vanderpool. But during the eclipse weekend, they're expecting thousands of people to pack this place. I mean, just take a look at this RV park. It's obviously empty now, but owners here tell me that all of the reservations for these spots were booked months ago for the eclipse weekend. I'm preparing for not the worst, <laughs> but not the best. Uh, just in between. There's only one gas station and one country store for miles in this part of Bandera County. And when we run out, we run out. They're buying extra supplies. Here and what's on the shelf, and then we've got another order coming in. As their strategy is to over-prepare. We're a very small rural community with uh, limited resources, but uh, we pull together and I think uh, We'll survive this. And now, with one week left, they're asking visitors to do the same. Have water, have food, have extra supplies, have fuel. This community is preparing for the unknown. It's going to get real. But their shelves are stocked, and departments are now on standby. We're going to do what we have to do when it happens, and we'll handle it. We'll handle the situation when it comes. So here's something while I'm watching that I'm thinking that a lot of us are preparing pre-eclipse, right? Right. Uh, getting our reservations done and making sure that we have enough supplies. But some of these towns are also getting ready for what's going to come after the eclipse. Right. I mean, people have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get into their destination for right. where they're going to stay for the eclipse. But people are really concerned, especially those county leaders, about what happens after it finishes. They're expecting a lot of traffic when people try to get home Monday night to be at work on Tuesday morning or even into Tuesday morning. And it definitely doesn't help that Highway 16 near Bandera is under construction. We took this video yesterday on our drive back from Vanderpool, and you can see traffic is down to one lane in each direction. So county leaders say this is just another reason to pack extra food, pack extra water, and pack extra patients because, I mean, anything could happen on that drive. Yeah, I'm also thinking about the people with electric vehicles. Exactly. Right? No charging station. For Not them, many. Or just one. Yeah. Not many. Thank, thank you for that, Avery.